Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet, and today I want to show you how to make the glazed pecan cabled lap blanket. This is a wonderful project for that special person in your life. Uh, we do have kits available. Please look in the video description below and you can check them out at lambshops.com should you be interested or you can use the DK weight yarn of your choice for this project. The yarn requirements are in the video description below. Well, let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm going to be using Madeleine Tosh hand dyed yarns. This is in glazed pecan and oh my goodness, this is wonderful. Um, this is 100% superwash merino wool. Each hank has approximately 225 yards or 205 meters. This is a DK weight yarn or a number three. Make sure you take note of that. And the number of scans that I use is going to be listed just across the bottom of your screen. I will also be using a size H or eight or 5.00 millimeter crochet hook. And as always, I'm recommending that you have a yarn needle and a pair of sharp scissors handy. Now we're ready to begin. We're going to start with a slip knot. And then we are going to chain 147 chains. Okay, once you complete your chain of 147 chains, and let me say one thing about this. If you know that you tend to crochet your chains a little bit too tightly, you may want to actually bump up to one size larger hook in order to crochet the chain and then return to the uh, spe specific hook for the pattern after that. Um, if you, you know, chain normally, you'd have nothing to worry about. Okay, so now we're going to start row one. We're going to start in the fourth chain, one, two, three, fourth chain from the hook. And we're going to work a double crochet in that chain and in each chain across. At the end of this row, you should have a total of 144 double crochets. That's not including the chain three that's right here at the beginning. Now let me say one other thing about working in the chain. I like to work on one side of the V. Some of you may prefer to work in the back bump. If you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. Just go ahead and, and do that. Uh, one other thing too, concerning the speed um, of the video, sometimes people have told me that I go too fast. Well, I do have a remedy for that if you find that I crochet a bit too fast for you. Um, down on this right side, there is a small gear shaped icon. It's going to be on this side of the um, viewfinder on a computer for the left handed version. If you click on that, it brings up the playback speed and you can select a slower speed. If you're working from a cell phone, there are three vertical dots here. It'll be on this side for the left handed version. And it does the same thing. You do have to stop the video, I believe, before you select that speed. So make sure you hit pause and then check out those. Um, menus and hopefully that serves you well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish row one. Okay, after completing that row, you should have a total of 144 stitches, not counting the chain three at the beginning. Now we're going to chain two for row number two. We're going to skip this first stitch and we're going to begin by working three front post double crochets. Let's try that one again. Uh, there's our second and number three. After those three front post double crochets, we're going to work a back post double crochet. And that is going to be our repeat all the way across the row. Three front post double crochets. And followed by one back post double crochet. So go ahead and work that across the row and I'll show you the ending of the row. At the end of row two, after we work those three front post double crochets, instead of the back post double crochet, we're just going to work a half double in that turning chain space. Now we're going to turn chain two. And to begin row three, we're going to work, we're going to skip that half double. We're going to work three 
back post double crochets after those three back post double crochets we're going to work a front post double crochet and that is going to be your repeat all the way across three back post double crochets followed by one front post double crochet once you get to the end of row three after you've worked those three back post double crochets then work a half double crochet in that chain two space let's go ahead and turn and see what you should have okay now for rows four and five we're simply going to repeat rows two and three again so as you recall we're going to chain two for row number four which is a repeat of row number two we're going to re we're going to skip this first stitch and we're going to work three front post double crochets and then we're going to work one back post double crochet that will be the repeat across that row and for row number five we're going to work chain two and then we're going to work um, three back post double crochets and then one front post double crochet all the way across the row ending each row with a half double crochet in the chain two space so go ahead and work rows four and five okay this is what you should have at the end of five rows now we're ready to begin row six now this is the foundation row for the cable pattern that we will continue throughout this project Okay, this that we just completed we call the ribbing or the ribbed edge uh, we will also be ending the project with the same uh, style but in between time we're going to be working the cable and I hope you enjoy this we're going to start with the chain two and we're going to work ribbing over the first two uh, sections here with the three front post double crochets and one back post double crochet and go ahead and do that again three front post double crochets and then one back post double crochet this is going to continue up to help frame our blanket on both sides okay after that we are now going to begin working what I like to call a wattle stitch, W-A-T-T-L-E, wattle stitch. Okay, and we're going to start in the next stitch. We're going to work a single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet in the same stitch. We're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and in the next stitch, which is the top of that back post, we're going to work a single crochet, chain one, double crochet another wattle stitch okay we're going to work four of these okay so we skip two and then wattle stitch in the next stitch skip two and in the next stitch okay so we should have a total of four of these one two three Four. all right now we're ready to begin the foundation of the first cable after we skip two stitches one two for that waddle stitch and we're going to just work three front post double crochets now instead of working a back post here we're going to work a half double crochet in the top loops and then we're going to do that three more times with the three front post double crochet and then a half double worked in the top loops of that back post okay so we have two sets of those let's do it again okay three front post double crochets and then a half double worked in the top so now we have one two three sets now we're going to do one more but we're only going to do the three front post double crochets one two three 
two, and three. Okay. Now after that, we're going to work four waddle stitches again. So we start in that next half double crochet, or actually back post, work single crochet, chain one, double crochet, skip two stitches, that's our second one, skip two, that's three, and then we work the fourth waddle stitch, skip two. Now we're going to work a back post double crochet and three front post double crochets. And this is going to be a little rib section that also extends from the bottom to the top throughout and then work another back post double crochet. Okay, so let's take a look so far. Okay, so we have the edging, we have the four waddle stitches, we have the four foundational columns for our first cable, we have four waddle stitches, and now for the, the dividing um, ribbing, we have a back post double crochet, three front post double crochet, and a back post double crochet. And we're, for the most part, going to repeat that across the row. But just so that you get this set up properly, I'm going to go throughout this row with you. Okay, so now we're going to work four waddle stitches. Working through those top loops, that's one. Skip two. That's two, skip two, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. That's three, skip two, and then our fourth. Skip two, now we're ready to work those four foundational columns that are going to form our wonderful, beautiful, intricate cable, which is not going to be so difficult you will find. Okay, so those three front post double crochets and a half double crochet. Three front post double crochets and a half double crochet. We're going to do that almost four times. And then a half double crochet. Let's check to make sure we see what we've done. One, two, three. And then the last is just the three front post double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so now after that, we work our four waddle stitches starting in that back post double crochet, working through the top loops. Okay, one. Make sure we do in that waddle stitch, skip two, and another single crochet, chain one, double crochet, skip two, that's three, skip two, and then four, skip two. Now we're ready for the another ribbing section that's going to extend from the bottom to the top. So it's a back post double crochet, three front post double crochets, and another back post double crochet. And surprisingly, we are almost, you know, all the way across the row. I mean, this goes really quickly, which is really delightful. I think you'll enjoy this once we get to working a lot of these waddle stitches. It goes so quickly. Okay, so now we're going to work four more of those waddle stitches. That's one. Skip two. That's two. And skip two. And three. Skip two, and then four. Let's just double check to make sure that we really do have four. One, 
two, three, four. Yes, we do. And so now we've done the, the uh, ribbing here. So now it's time to do another cable foundation, skip two, and then begin working those three front post double crochets, followed by a half double crochet. Do that almost three more times. Um, three front post double crochets, half double. Let's do that again. Three front post double crochets. And then a half double. And I'm gonna to check to see, okay, I have one, two, three sets. So this last set, we only do three front post double crochets. We don't don't work that half double for this last one. That's two and three. Okay, now we're ready for four more of those waddle stitches worked into top loops. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet, skip two, single crochet, chain one, double crochet for the next wall stitch. That's two, skip two. And here's the third one. Skip two, and then the fourth one. Skip two. Now we're at the very end and we're just going to work the ribbing part. So we're gonna skip these two stitches and we're going to work a back post double crochet, three front post double crochet, one, two, three, and then a back post double crochet, and then three more front post double crochets, and we're almost there. And a half double in the turning chain, just right in the entire chain there. Okay, so this is looking really nice. I hope you are enjoying this yarn. This yarn is, is just really rich and fabulous looking to me. All right, so so we have the foundation row set up and you just want to check. It's always a good idea at the end of each row when you have had the front side facing to check to make sure that you did exactly what you wanted to do. So I see the four waddle stitches. I see the four foundational um, uh, groupings for my cable. I see four waddle stitches. Then I see the separating ribbing here. Four waddle stitches. My foundational cable. Four more waddle stitches. The separation ribbing here. Four waddle stitches and the foundation for my other cable, the waddle stitches, and then the ending. So that looks good. So now we're ready to move on um, to row number seven. We're gonna chain two, one, two, and we are going to work the ribbing on over these two sections here, just like we've been doing. It's a half double crochet here that we skip. So we go right into the three back post, double crochets. And then we're gonna work a front post double, and then three more back post doubles. One, two, three, and then another front post double. Okay, now this is the fun part. Um, Remember when we worked the waddle stitches, we're skipping stitches and everything. Well, we don't have to do that anymore. What we're going to do is the chain one space, which is right here, in, in, where the chain one was made in the waddle stitch. We're going to walk work a waddle stitch right in that space, just like that. We're going to skip this half double. I'm sorry, the the uh, single crochet and the double crochet, and we're just going to work in the chain one space. So I'm just going to. Work another waddle stitch in that chain one space and go to the next chain one space. Work another waddle stitch. This is a, probably my favorite crochet fabric because it recedes so nicely to the background when working these luscious cables. Okay, and then one more 
just worked in that chain one space. Okay, so now we are to the back side of the cable foundation and we're just going to build that foundation a little bit more. We're going to skip this single crochet. We're just going to go right into the back post double crochets from those waddle stitches. So just go right into those back post double crochets. There are three of them. And then remember we're working half doubles now in between on these cables. And then three more back post double crochets. And then a half double. And three more back post double crochets. And another half double worked right in the top loops. These are going to be the separators for our cables. And three more back post double crochets. So there are four sets of those three back post double crochets separated by the half doubles. And that brings us to our waddle stitches again. And we're going to work a waddle stitch in that chain one space, just like we've done before. And we're going to do that throughout this entire project. Your muscle memory will kick in very well on these stitches after several rows. And it will probably be more of an automated response than you would have thought. Okay, and the next waddle space or waddle stitch in that chain one space. Okay, now we get to the part which is the separator, those ribbing, those five stitches, which is a front post double crochet, two, three back post double crochets, followed by a front post double crochet. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your repeat all the way across the row. So you're just going to continue doing that across. I'll talk your way through this. We're going to be working the four waddle stitches again, working only in the chain one space and work a waddle stitch in each of those. And then we work three back post double crochets, a half double, three back post, half double, three back post, half double, three back post. And then the four waddle stitches again. And then we get to the ribbing section, front post, back post, back post, back post, front post, etc. All the way across. And then when you get to the end, you're going to have front post, double crochet, back post, back post, back post, front post, back post, back post, back post, and then a half double crochet worked in that chain one space. So go ahead and finish row number seven. Okay, now we come to row number eight, and this is the exciting row. This is where we start crossing our cables. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to that point. I've gone ahead and chained two. We're gonna work three front post double crochets. A back post double crochet. This is just the uh, ribbed edging. And then three more front post, double crochets, followed by a back post double crochet. Okay, so before we get to those cables, we need to work our waddle stitches working in those chain one spaces only, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. So we'll go ahead and work those four. Uh, let's try that one again. That's two, three, and four. Okay, so now we are ready to cross our cables, and this is what we're going to do for this. We're going to skip the first three stitches, one, two, three. We're going to work a half double crochet in that half double crochet. Now we're going to work front post treble crochets. Wrap your hook twice for these. And this is only when we cross cables that we work these treble crochets. That's one, two, and 
three. The first part of this cable, we're technically going to be working a large honeycomb, um, but you don't really need to know that. You can just follow along and you'll it'll it'll come to play. Okay, so now after we work the half double in those three front post treble, we're going to work three front post trebles in these stitches, but we're going to work them behind all these four stitches. And this is what we do. We come in to the big hole right in here, and this is where I like to put my thumb up into the hole here and then I use my fingers to let me know which is the proper stitch. Okay, that's one. Let's do that again, coming into the hole and I know I'm going to work this stitch next. So with my tall man and my thumbkin, I kind of grab that so that I know where the hook should go. It makes it much easier. I know this is much, it's easier to feel it than to see it. But uh, let me see, I'm going to take this nice and slow. So going for the third stitch we're going to come into that same hole the same big hole here and this is the stitch that I want this time and so I go ahead and wrap my hook around that and work that front post treble crochet okay so what I had just worked for you is called a back cross we're going to be working a series of front crosses and back crosses to make these cables so that is a back cross then we work a half double in that next stitch. And then we're going to cross the next cable using a front cross. I'm going to skip the next three stitches. Half double crochet in that next stitch. Front post treble in the next three stitches. Okay. Now this is the easier one to do. Front crosses are easier. We're working in front of the last four stitches that we just made. We're going to front post treble crochet in each of these stitches, starting with the one further away, of course. It does feel like quite a jump when you do this at first, but until you get used to it, it seems like such a far distance to go. But as you'll see in just a second, it works quite well. Okay. So that's what we do. That's a back cross here and a front cross. Back cross meaning we're going to work these other stitches behind these stitches. Then a front cross, you just work them in front. So I hope the diagram is helpful in helping you to know when to work what. Okay, so now we just work these waddle stitches and the next four stitches. Since you already know these stitches, I'm going to work these and I'm going to work the back post, three front posts, and then a back post, and the four more waddle stitches off camera. And then I will work the cable crossing one more time for you. So after finishing those last four waddle stitches, I wanted to do this cable crossing for you one more time. Skip the next three stitches, half double in the top loop, so that half double crochet. Then we work three front post, oops, three front post treble crochets. Keep the stitches from slipping off the hook there. Okay, so we have those three front post treble crochets and that half double. Now I'm going to come in behind those into this hole, which is right here, and we're going to front post treble in each of these stitches. I'm going to grab this stitch first, so I have my thumb on it to guide my hook. And if you need additional stitch support on this stitch, I am going to have a listing of Aaron Celtic videos in the video description below. Okay, so we're going to take the second stitch coming into that hole again. You see that? There we go. That's two. And the third time coming in and with this is the stitch that we're going to work the last time just make sure that you don't grab any more strands than just that stitch that's three half double in that next half double working through the top loops and then we're going to now that was again that's a back cross now we're going to do a front cross skip three stitches half double in that half double 
front post treble crochet in the next three stitches. Working in front of the last four stitches, we're going to front post treble crochet in the three stitches that we just skipped. Okay, and then we begin again on our waddle stitches. And let's just pause and take a look. It's very important as you're double checking your work on this row that the cables turn out, kind of kind of flare out this to the left, this to the right, or depending on which video version you're watching. And so now all you got to do is do this um, working across the waddle stitches the back post, three front post, back post, waddle stitches, and then again cross that last cable and complete the row. Again, four waddle stitches, and then the back post, three front post, back post, three front post, and a half double crochet in that chain two space. So go ahead and complete row number eight. Okay, now we're ready to go on to row number nine. We're gonna start with the chain two, and let me just talk you through some of these stitches before we get to the cables. We're going to do the three back posts, double crochets, front post, three back posts, double crochets, front post, and go ahead and work those four waddle stitches. And then I'm going to show you what to do at the back of the cable crossed area. Okay, now we come to the back side of where the cable was crossed. And let me just show you how easy it is to work this. Okay, we're going to work three. Okay, let me, before I even show you that, we're coming off of these four waddle stitches. Okay, we just jump right into this. Three back posts, double crochets. We're just coming right in order as they come to your fingers. Um, we're not crossing anything unless it's a, you know, a row to cross the cables. Okay, so we've done the three back posts, double crochets. Now in between where these were crossed, okay, in between the last stitch and the next stitch, which is right here, we're going to work a half double crochet right in there. Okay, and now we have three more back post double crochets. Make sure that you get all three of them. That's two and three because they were, you know, crossed behind that other stitch. Okay, so you, some of you may be thinking, oh dear, she added another stitch to our stitch count. Well, I did right here, but we're going to skip this half double crochet right there. So that keeps our stitch count consistent. Okay, we get to the next, so we're going to skip this half double, we're going to go to this half double and work a half double crochet in the top loops of that one. And then three more back post double crochets. One, whoops, let's try that one again. Need to get away from me sometimes. Two, and the third one, which is right there. Let me just stop so that you can see. There's three here. And then there's three on the other side. So after you do those three back post doubles, we're going to work a half double crochet in between the last stitch and the next stitch. It's right there in the middle where the cables were crossed, the last row. Okay, now we have three more. We're going to get these three more back post double crochets. One, two, and three. And we are done. So then we just go right into our waddle stitches on the other side of that cable. Okay. You don't see much there, but let's take a look from the other side. You can see it looks a little bit better now. Okay. So for the rest of this row, we are going to do basically what we've been doing. We're going to work the waddle stitches, front post, three back posts, front post and then four waddle stitches and then we'll come to another cable crossing and I will show this to you one more time so I'm going to go ahead and work these other stitches and then I'll show you this cable crossing again or actually the the back side working it following the cable crossing row so I'm going to work the back post double crochets over this cable crossing one more time for you because if you're like me I need it a couple of times at least Okay, so coming right from that waddle stitch, 
we're going to work three back post double crochets one two whoops, and three and then after that we're going to in between where the cables crossed we're going to work a half double crochet right there in the center and then three more back post double crochets one two and three skip this half double crochet and then half double crochet in the top loop of the top loops of the next half double and then we're going to do it again three more back post double crochets on the other side of that cable that's two and three and then in between where these two cables have crossed we're going to work a half double crochet between that last stitch and the next stitch and then three more back post double crochets one two three and then we go right back into those waddle stitches okay so you should be able to finish out this row at this point I'll just review again we have the rest of the waddle stitches then front post three back post one front post four waddle stitches we have another cable crossing just like I showed you and then four waddle stitches and then front post three back post front post three back posts and then a half double in that turning chain so go ahead and finish out this row now the next four rows are going to be worked very similarly to rows four and five so let's go ahead if you go ahead and work your chain two your front post double crochets back post three front post back post and those waddle stitches and I'll show you how to work over the cable portion just so that you understand what I mean by that so go ahead and work this much and I'll show you the cable so as a repeat of row four what you're going to be doing when you get to the cable section is you're going to work three front post double crochets a half double crochet in that half double crochet and then three more front post double crochets half double in that half double crochet and then again three front post double crochets half double in the half double and then three more front post double crochets and everything else you have worked uh, multiple times before working over the waddle stitches and you know the back post three front post back post etc but let's just take a look I just want you to see how this is growing and so what's going to happen here is after you finish this row you're going to work with the back side facing and then you're just simply going to work back post double crochets half double three back post half double three back post half double three back post double crochets when you get to that cable section everything else um, is constant with the pattern stitch with the waddle stitches with the way the uh, ribbing is on the ends and as well as the ribbing don't forget these two stitches on the back side um, the back post three front post back post okay so everything else about the pattern stays constant so again just to reiterate what I have want you to do this is going to be rows 10 through 13 you're going to repeat rows 4 and 5 two times so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what I have this is what you should have after 13 completed rows I'll just go ahead and look across we have the center cable and then the third cable right there okay so this row on row 14 we are going to cross the cables again and let me explain how we're going to do this we're going to bring these two on top and inward to form a large honeycomb and we're going to do this by working a front cross here 
and then a back cross on this side. So go ahead and work in pattern stitch from, you know, after the chain two through the waddle stitches, and then I'll show you how to work the cable. So now we are at the cable section, and we are going to work a front cross here, which would be skipping the next three stitches, half double crochet in that half double crochet, three front post trebles, That's two and three. And again, by front cross, we are going to cross in front of the last four stitches that we just worked. That's one. And you can see where I have brought in another, another ball of yarn. I'm on my second Hank right now. And that, that strand will be hidden quite nicely. Now we work a half double crochet in that center stitch. We're going to skip the next three stitches. Half double in that next half double crochet. Front post treble in the next three stitches. That's one. Uh, let's try that one again. Two. And three. Now we're going to work behind the last four stitches. And we're going to come into this hole right here. And we're going to work front post trebles over each of these three stitches. Starting with this one right here. Make sure I grab it between my thumb and my tall man finger so that I know which stitch is to be worked around. That's one. And we come into the same hole again, get the second stitch right there. Two, and the third time, and there's the last stitch right there. And that's three. Okay, so let's go ahead and anchor this with a with one of my waddle stitches, okay. Mm. Well, that stitch just did not want to be made. There you go. And so let's take a look at how this cable curves around. Isn't that beautiful? So that's what we're going to do for this row. So again, working in the pattern stitches the way we've been working. And again, just as a reminder, don't forget these back post double crochets as you go across for that um, center or, or the, you know, the dividing ribbing section. And let's go ahead and make all of these into honeycomb, working a front cross here and then a back cross on this side. Now for row 15, I've gone ahead and worked the edging and the waddle stitches in pattern stitch. And we've come to the back side of the cable. So we're gonna work our back post double crochets just like we did in row number nine. Okay, we'll I'll just go ahead and show you what that looks like one more time. As a review, we're going to do three back post double crochets. Remember working in between the last stitch and next stitch, which is the center of the cable, work a half double crochet right in between those stitches. And then we work three more back post double crochets. And then we single, I'm sorry, half double crochet in the top loop of that half double crochet. There is another half double crochet but we're, that we're skipping, but we can't see it because of the way the cables were crossed so that the stitch count does remain the same. Three more back post double crochets. half double in between that last stitch and the next stitch, and then three more back post double crochets. One, two, and three. And just, you know, to offset the addition of this stitch, we're skipping this stitch. So just to show you that the stitch count remains constant. 
Okay, then we'll just do a bottle stitch. Oh, got away from me again. Okay, so this is what the back side of that will look like when you're working row 15. And if you flip it around to the front side, you can see that it's giving this cable a little more definition and shape. So go ahead and finish row 15. This is what your cable should look like after 15 rows. Now for rows 16 and 17, I'm going to have you repeat rows 4 and 5. And let me just t explain what that is. We're working again just in con continual pattern stitch, the same with the waddle stitches and the ribbings. Um, and for the row 16, you're just going to work front post double crochets on these cable sections with a half double in between here. And then for row 17, we're going to work back post double crochets just across with the half double in between. So go ahead and work rows 16 and 17. Now for row 18, I've gone ahead and worked across the pattern stitches here and I'm going to show you how to cross these cables. We are going to work a back cross on this side and then a front cross on this side. So this is going to stay on top and go out and this is going to go out in this direction. And I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like right now. We're going to skip these three stitches, half double and that half double crochet front post treble in the next three stitches. Okay, now this is, like I said, was a back cross, so we're going to work through coming to this hole and we're going to work front post treble crochets over the three stitches that we skipped. Second stitch. And a third stitch. Okay, so that's twisting out that way. Half double in that next stitch. Skip the next three stitches. Half double in that next half double. Front post treble the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And the easy part, working in front of the last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. That's two. And three, and let's go ahead and anchor it over here with that first waddle stitch so I can show you what this looks like now. Okay, so this is the way our cable is forming. So they both turn outward on this row. So go ahead and finish this row, this row 18. So this is what you should have after 18 completed rows. Okay, now we're going to work row 19, which is actually another repeat of row number nine. Let me just explain it as I go across. We're just going to work in pattern stitch as we've been, as we've been doing. And then when we get to working behind the cables, we do three back post double crochets, a half double crochet in between where the cables cross, and then more three back post double crochets. Skip this half double, half double, working through the top loops, three back post double crochets, half double in between where the cables cross, and then three more back post double crochets. And then we just continue that all the way across. So I just wanted to be clear about that. So go ahead and work row 19. Okay, this is what we have after 19 rows. Okay, now this cable is going to go straight up for just a little while. So what I'm going to have you do now is rows 20 through 23. That's a total of four rows, and that's going to be another repeat of rows four and five. And I'll talk that with you just a second with the cable. You're going to work 
front post double crochets and those half doubles of course in the middle um, for row 20 and then you're going to work it back for row 21 working back post and then row 23 3 I'm sorry row 22 um, with front post double crochets again and then another row with back post double crochets over these cables so you're kind of straightening out the cable a little bit we're going to twist it differently after we complete those four rows but go ahead and work rows 20 through 23 again repeating rows four and five two times this is what your cable should look like after completing rows 20 through 23 now we're going to repeat row 18 okay this is row 24 and it's going to be a row a row 18 repeat which is what we worked down here where we worked a back cross and then we worked a front cross so I'll go ahead and work over the pattern stitch until I get to the cable and I'll work that cross with you now to the point of working the cable this is row 24 and like I said before we're going to repeat the cable section of row 18 skip three stitches half double that next stitch front post treble and the next three stitches now we're going to work behind these last four stitches we're going to come into the hole we're going to front post treble in each of these stitches that we just skipped one Two, and three, half double in that half double crochet, skip the next three stitches, half double in that half double, um, three more front post treble crochets. Now working in front of the last of the last four stitches, we front post treble in those three stitches that we just skipped. Let's try that one again. It got away from me. That's two and three. I'm going to go ahead and work my wattle stitch over here so I can anchor this cable so we can get a better a better look at it. Okay, so there you have it. So let's take a look at what this is doing. So you have the large honeycomb, then it comes back out, and you have an elongated cable, and then it does another little twist. So go ahead and finish this row, and then I'll give you some more instructions. So this is, this is what our cable looks like after 24 completed rows. Okay, now I'm going to give you a three row repeat. After this, we're going to work row 25, which is going to be that row that works the back post double crochets across the cable and the half double crochet in between. You have to add that half double where the cables cross and then three back post doubles. Skip the half double here, half double. And then three more back post doubles, half double crochet in between the cables, and another three back post double crochets. So that's going to be row 25. Rows 26 and 27 are going to be repeating rows 4 and 5 again. And that would be where you work front post double crochets on that cable, and then we work the back post double crochets with it facing the other. So go ahead and work those three additional rows. So this is our cable after completing the first 27 rows. Now from this point on, we are going to repeat rows eight through 27 three more times. If you need stitch support, you can go ahead and look across the bottom. I'll put a little time mark there so that you can take a look at that. Um, I do have some recommendations though 
for those of you who don't need total stitch support but can just go with visuals, what I would suggest you do is take a stitch marker or a piece of you know contrasting yarn or something and mark the cable where the cable begins. This is, is where the cables first cross. That's where you're going to repeat starting right up here. This would be row 28. And let's go ahead and put a stitch marker uh, right up here. I mean, you don't have to do this. This is just a helpful, helpful tip. Go ahead and put a stitch marker here. That way you know, okay, my cable repeat starts here and it ends, it ends here. So what you can always do as you're working is look back and notice, okay, when do I cross the cables? What directions do the cables cross? Do they cross out? Do they cross in? Um, how does that look? Um, do they go in like this? And you can just easily look back on your work and say, okay, it's time to do this or that in the cable. Um, now, some of you, again, are going to need absolute instructions step by step, and you can just go right back to the video at the time mark that I told you about. Um, but personally, I, I prefer just a more of a visual quick glance, and that really serves me well. I hope that is enough directions for you to go from this point on. Um, and once you finish those three more repeats of this cable section, I will show you what to do following that point. Okay, after completing three repeats of rows 8 through 27, I have added an additional repeat of rows 8 through 25 right here. And again, the repeating row 8, which is where the, the um, first crossing of the cables begins for the large honeycomb. And we do this little cabling here, and then the elongated cable and up through here and then ending on row 25. So now we are going to be returning to the ribbing at the bottom of this throw. And so in order to do that, we're going to need to return the waddle stitch sections back to double crochets. And this is the row that's going to do that. And again, we're going to chain two. We're just going to work these front post double crochets just as normal over the established ribbed sections that, as you know, continue all through this project. And then a back post double crochet. And again, three front post. Followed by a back post double crochet. Now this is where uh, the only thing that's really different about doing this, we're just returning. We're going to, in that chain one space, we're going to work two double crochets, and then we're going to work one double crochet in that single crochet of the waddle stitch. So in these four waddle stitch sections, we should return to 12 double crochets in these sections. Okay, so I'll go ahead. Again, we're skipping this double crochet. We're working two double crochets in the chain one space. This just allows for the stitches to be more even as we work across them in the future rows. And then, here we go, two more double crochets, and then one double crochet in that single crochet. Okay, so now for the section here, we're going to work just post three front post stitches over these three cable sections. And we're going to work half double crochets in the half double crochets just like we would be doing normally. The only difference is when we come back with the next row, we are going to be changing these half doubles into post stitches. So go ahead and work that all the way across again. Well, I'll go ahead and finish just a little bit more of this with you in case there is any doubt. Half double in that half double. This will be the last time we use half double crochets. Returning to all either front or back post double crochets the next row. 
And again, we come to the waddle stitches. And just to show that to you one more time, we work two double crochets in that chain one space and then one in the single crochets as we work over those waddle stitches. And so we are going to continue that. Make sure that you continue to work the back post over the back post and front post over the front post of these um, other ribbed stitches. And when we get to the end of the row, we're just going to end it the way we normally would with a half double crochet in the chain two space. Now for the last four rows, we're going to repeat rows three and four of the original ribbing. I'll go ahead and work these with you. Um, starting with a repeat of row number three, we chain two, and this is the repeat across three back post double crochets, and then one front post double crochet. We're going to do this all the way across and especially over those uh, formerly waddle stitch rows, and I'll, I'll work some of these with you. Okay, three back post double crochets and one front post double crochets. And this is really important, this section here. We established this correctly. Three back post double crochets and then one front post double crochet. And we're just going to do that. And you should have 12 stitches. Um, so you should have enough to do three of the, you know, ribbed sections. I just want to work this with you and just to show you that it will, will come out properly if your stitch count um, remained constant as it should have. One, two, three, and, and then a front post double crochet. Okay, so we're going to be working this all the way across and all when we get to the, um, I'll do some of the cable portion of it too. Three back post double crochets. And your front post is going to be worked over the half doubles when you get to these cabling portions. That's one two, three, and then a half, a front post double crochet over that half double. Let me do, I'll just finish out this cable portion and I'll show you what you should be getting on the other side just so there's no doubt that you're doing it correctly. And then, okay, so when you look at it from the other side, you can see that you are now returning to it being the ribbed section all the way across. So go ahead and finish that row. And when you work a repeat of row number four, we're just going to be working front post double crochets over these stitches. And then of course the back post over the additional stitch in the back. So three front posts and one back post double crochet. So go ahead and finish the last four rows. After working that last half double crochet, after completing those five rows of the ribbing, that would be the first row would have been the foundation row where we changed back to the double crochets and then plus four more rows working those front and back post double crochets. We're going to go ahead and fasten off with the chain, a little bit of a tug, and we want to get our sharp scissors and leave a generous tail. And maybe you don't need this, but I'm going to go ahead and finish with just a very quick tutorial on how to hide these loose ends, just in case there's somebody out there who've never used a yarn needle to do this. It makes it very efficient and it's a great time saver. And I like to do this on the back side of our work. And it's just as simple as going down into the stitches. And we just want to do this in a way that hides them all. You're going to have several of these to, to practice on for sure. And so let's just go ahead and wind this down and try not to split the yarn as I do this. Okay. And let's just go down a little bit further. Okay. So that's 
that's about an inch worth of stitching. Let's go ahead and go down gently. And then I'm going to come up gently through some other stitches here. I always like to have uh, on, on afghans like this, it's nice to hide these in a way that there's a little bit of, uh, you know, pullback on it. It just kind of helps the stitch to just stay put a little bit better. Okay, and just to show you, you don't see it on the front at all. And, you know, go ahead and pull back a little bit on that so that um, the stitch isn't going to the strand isn't going to pull out. Okay, clip very close, but be very gentle that you don't clip your beautiful stitches there. And we are now done. I'll go ahead and put a picture of this right here. I well, hope you enjoyed crocheting this along with me today. If you did, please give me that thumbs up if you're on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit subscribe as well. God bless. Bye-bye.